In New Jersey, a massive fire destroyed a home this morning. Flames broke out around 3.30 on Normandy Heights Road in Morris Township. Firefighters poured water on the multi-story home, but it was gutted by those flames. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live in Morris Township with more. Anthony. Yeah, investigators are telling us at this hour they're going to be out here for the long haul, but they've already named the two people who are missing. That is Robert and Gemma Ricciardi, 87 and 85 years old. They also tell us that this fire was so huge and so big that airplane pilots flying overhead called it in into the emergency operations early this morning when this fire broke out. The home is completely obliterated. It was a raging ball of smoke and flames which destroyed the structure. We understand it dates back to the 1890s. The fire here at 44 Normandy Heights Road began around 3.30 this morning. Now the area is surrounded by more modern homes and well manicured lawns so neighbors are very spread out. We did talk to one woman who said the occupants of the house uh, destroyed by the fire of course were elderly and she was awakened by the time of the fire activity saw the huge fireball across the street from the road from her house and she also was telling us that firefighters put on an heroic effort to try to knock down the flames. There was heroic efforts here by the police, fire and EMS here. Heroic efforts uh, to try to rescue people inside that house. We are in a recovery mode right now. So multi-agency investigation, we have to do it by the numbers. With regards to it, we're going to be here for some time and we'll be back in touch with you. And then I was awoken by um, some pops and the lights, um, and I saw. And I came downstairs, I was gonna call 911, but then I saw some flashlights and um, heard the cops um, calling out to see if anybody was home and knocking on the doors. I know the gentleman, um, he's the only one, the owner that I see in the mornings come get his mail, say hi, but I don't know them personally. Yeah, right now we're looking at a couple of family members arriving out here on the scene. Of course, I heard the gentleman who just walked up. He said this is the saddest day of his life. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Investigators say once again, they're going to be out here for quite a long time working on this fire, and they're still working to locate the two victims, but they've already named them Robert and Gemma Ricciardi. They